Hello, I'm Georgie Barrett and this week we're filming at the Rework Future of Technology and Deep Learning Summit where they're showcasing 3D printing, virtual reality, internet of things and drones for good. This is your week in tech. eMove has smashed its £1 million target on Crowdcube. The online estate agent is hoping to change the property sector but follows closely in the footsteps of competitor Zoopla. High-end London-based hospitality platform Velocity has acquired US mobile payment startup Cover. They also unveiled an additional $4 million in their funding, bringing their total to $16 million. And France's iAdvise, a SaaS provider, has raised 14 million euros and is eyeing up a UK expansion. It was announced that Eileen Burbage will take over the position as a chair of Tech City UK. The startup support network is building a new team to head up the UK's digital economy agenda. Burbage is a founding partner at VC firm Cashing Capital, which has invested in high profile startups such as Go Cardless. Markets and Thread. Burbage adds this to a growing list of roles supporting the UK tech scene, not least her recent appointment as one of 19 members of the Prime Minister's Business Advisory Group. In other UK news, the tech community will get together next week on the 1st of October for Tech Fugees Conference in support of the Syrian refugee crisis. The non-profit event will bring together tech engineers, entrepreneurs and startups together with NGOs. Amazon Web Services crashed this week, taking down Netflix, Tinder, Reddit and other online applications. AWS powers web and mobile applications and provides data processing and warehousing storage to websites all over the world. The disruption was due to Amazon's oldest data center complex in Virginia experiencing some glitches. And if you thought that Apple were dominating the world of tech enough, then think again. It was unveiled that we could catch a glimpse of the first Apple electric car in 2019. Project Titan currently has a 600 strong team working on the new vehicle. Are you a fan of live music? Well then, our download of the week could be right up your street. Dice is the app that lets you buy gig tickets without the booking fee. It's completely mobile with no paper tickets and it hopes to beat the touts with its reliable technology. If you return a ticket, it will go straight to another fan at face value. It's available to download on iOS and Android. And finally, claims that David Cameron once put a private part of his anatomy into a dead pig's mouth, sent Twitter into a frenzy of Photoshop pics and pork puns this week. Lord Ashcroft alleged in his new biography that Cameron once engaged in a bizarre ritual whilst at university, with the hashtag Piggate scandal sparking an endless barrage of jokes and mockery on social media. Cameron has not said either way whether the accusations are porkies or not. This has been your week in tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.